Hi everyone, my name is Rahul Randiwe and today we are going to explore why the SQL Manage instance deletion process seems to be stuck for an extended duration. We sometimes encounter an issue where deleting a SQL Manage instance takes time or the delete operations become stuck. According to Microsoft official documentation, 90% of cluster deletions typically completes within one and a half hours. However, in some cases, the delete operation may take longer or appear to be stuck. Let's talk about why operation sometimes takes longer. It happens because locks on the SQL Manage instance dedicated subnets virtual network, its parents resource group or subscriptions can sometimes disrupt the management and maintenance task of the SQL Manage instance. The most common effects of cannot delete logs are related with the virtual cluster removal. Virtual cluster and other dependent components are removed along with the last instance in the subnet. And this requires that the resource group used for its deployments not to be logged. Additionally, because the resource navigation link is property of the subnet that gets deleted during the virtual cluster deletion, the VNet use for instance deployment must also not to be locked. The recommendation steps would be to remove the existing locks in order for the operations to proceed and wait at least two hours before considering adding them back. Now, let's say I would like to delete this SQL Manage instance demo SQL MI3. I can hit delete button here to delete that. But before that, let's check the logs. Here is the resource group of this MI. And these are the resources like NSG, route table, virtual cluster, and virtual network, etc. got created as part of the MI creation. To check the log, let's click on the log and you can see all the logs on these resources. So for this MI, these are the logs which are on the virtual cluster and on the VNet. You can delete these MI related logs from, from here or going individually to that resources and delete. So now I'm deleting the log and then we'll perform the delete operation. Let's refresh the screen. As you can see, the logs has been deleted and this resource has no logs now. Now let's delete this SQL Manage instance. The delete operations is now in progress. As you can see here, the Manage instance is being deleted and the billing for it has been disabled, which means as soon as the delete operation is triggered, the billing for SQL Manage instance is disabled. During the delete operations will not impact the billing. You can also perform the SQL MI delete operation using CLI command. And here is the command to delete the SQL Manage instance. Additionally, you can delete the SQL Manage instance using PowerShell command. And here is the command to delete SQL Manage instance. The remove hyphen az SQL instance command removes an Azure SQL Manage instance. Here is an example to remove an instance. As you can observe, my demo SQL MI3 SQL Manage instance has successfully deleted. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching.